We got to wake up a baby. Okay, hello. It is Friday morning. We are doing a weekend vlog this weekend. It has been so long since I've done a weekend vlog. Like 20 minutes just about <laughs> and I actually have to make this a little bit quick because we're just about to head into an appointment with Lucy's developmental pediatrician this is kind of like a big appointment we haven't seen her in like six months when we had our first appointment with her six months ago it was actually like the week before we moved it was a crazy time we also had an EEG that day we had to have an appointment with the neurologist like it was an all day thing it was just madness luckily today is going to be nothing like that it's a great appointment because lucy gets an assessment with the doctor we get to ask any questions we have and we always have questions i always come with like a list of questions for every single doctor and we can get referrals it's just a really helpful appointment so i've been looking forward to this and grant is actually meeting us since it's a big appointment he made the time to come he doesn't get to come to a lot of appointments because obviously he's working and he has to go to work like directly after the appointment um, but I'm so glad that he gets to be here and ask questions with me and listen to everything and obviously help with Lucy too so it's a good day we gotta go get it done oh and I have a new camera we should talk about this later that Lucy? Yeah. are you in the waiting room So Lucy's sleeping right now. She needs a good nap right now because coming home from that appointment, she was wiped out, hungry, tired, everything she needs her sleep right now. So I'm probably talking a little bit low, but I wanted to chat for a second. I've been just like running around trying to get things done and doing emails and eating lunch and all that. But the appointment went great. I love that doctor so much. And that is one of those appointments you have to literally schedule a year in advance it took us so long to get in with her initially i just appreciate getting to talk to her so much like obviously we did the assessment everything went well no surprises there and i also brought up some therapies like uh, water therapy and music therapy i've heard good things and i just wanted to know like would this be like developmentally appropriate, like age appropriate, if so, who, all of those things. And that was really interesting to get to talk about. And I feel like she took a lot of time with us, which I just really, really, really appreciate. Okay, and the other thing is the new camera. I mentioned that when we were running into the appointment, I got a new camera because my last vlog camera is just trash. I mentioned it at the end of the last vlog, like it will be a miracle if this vlog actually comes out because this camera is falling apart in my hands and it literally was, do you see this? Hanging on by a thread and this 
tiny little screw at one point flew across the room and I had to find like a teeny tiny like glasses repair screwdriver to get it back in just so I could finish that vlog. Like it was bad and I feel like the quality kind of suffered. Hopefully you can see a difference with this camera. Hopefully it's all coming together and it's paying off. Let me know if you're noticing like a quality improvement. Hopefully you can. Hopefully it's worth it. I mean, at least it's not falling apart, you know? That's it about the camera situation. I'm sure you don't care, but I need to tell you, I don't know exactly how I want to say it because I don't want to like spoil the surprise. <laughs> I'm probably being goofy, but something very exciting is happening this weekend. You're going to see the family. We're all getting together. I'm going to do something really exciting. There's something very exciting happening in my family right now. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. I need to go get more things done. Okay, I know I basically just showed you guys my new pink sheet set that I got from Brooklinen on Instagram, but I was so torn between the cream and the pink, I just had to get the cream. So Brooklinen is sponsoring this portion of the vlog. Thank you so much. And did I use that as an excuse to get another sheet set? Absolutely, yes I did. But I've been a Brooklyn and customer for years. You guys already know they're a luxury sheet company. They make good quality products. They hold up over time and they do it at a good price. And I just feel like investing in your bedding, it's like more than just investing in like how your home looks. Cause like, obviously I love how these look, but it's like investing in a good night's sleep. You know, we all need that. And this is the Lux Hardcore Sheet Bundle. And they do these amazing bundles where you can mix and match colors if you want to. And it helps you save money when you're getting a whole set instead of just like individual items. And I have always been a classic hardcore sheet bundle girl. But since I got my pink set, I've changed. I think I'm a Lux girl now. These are so heavenly, so comfortable, so soft. And I mean, isn't taking care of your sleep like a form of self-care? <laughs> if you needed another reason. If you guys are curious about Brooklinen, there will be a link in the description down below, shop around. And while you're doing that, you can use my code that they gave me for you guys. It's Leanne20 and you can save $20 on your order over $100. Just enter that in at checkout. They've got so much more than sheets, but I feel like their sheets and their bedding is a really good place to start. Hello, how you doing girlfriend? Here and there, she'll get a little bit startled if it was a loud sound that she didn't expect. Um, if it's a loud sound that she caused, she likes it. <laughs> Thanks for helping me with my phone call, Miss Lucy. We just got off a pretty long phone call. I learned a lot. I was talking to her developmental service therapist. We were supposed to meet with her next week, but we've got so much going on next week. So it ended up just being a phone call today. It was so good talking to her. I have a lot to talk about with Grant now when he comes home and he's actually coming home early today. Well, this is like our second official date night since we've been in Houston. Still very hard, still kind of don't want to do it, but I know it's good for us. You don't have to tell me. I know, I know, I know. So we're doing it. And this is my outfit of the night. It's like all lavender, everything. And everything's old too. So like, what's the point? But Aritzia, Zara, like I literally wore these on our honeymoon, that old. And then the shoes are Target. <laughs> There's my girl. Flip her around. How you doing? Good morning. Oh, where's she going? Where's she going? Yes, ma'am. Get ready, guys. Here we go. 
go. She's ready to go. Okay, Miss Strawberry. Let's go. It's Saturday. I had to wash my hair this morning. So annoying. I hate washing my hair on the weekend. I do almost anything to avoid it, but it just had to happen because last night we got rained on. We had to like run through the rain. Sorry, I didn't vlog anything through the date night. We had a great time. It was like a get together with neighborhood people. And so it was like just right down the street. I did not know it was gonna rain. <laughs> Apparently Grant did. First things first, <laughs> don't even tell me if you're one of those people that's like, I hate hearing other people's dreams because I am so not that. Like if you have a dream, I wanna know. Me and Grant always share our dreams with each other. And literally the first thing I told him this morning when we woke up was my dream because it was ridiculous. There were so many parts to it, but I'll just tell you the kind of funny, very weird part that has to do with Grant. Okay, this is ridiculous, but we were at a party. It was getting late, like we were gonna leave, but Megan Fox was there and Grant was talking to Megan Fox and she invited him and some other people to like go to her house and go to her pool. And Grant was like, oh, hey, I'm gonna go. And I was just like, okay. Like I wasn't invited, like not uninvited. It wasn't, I don't know what's going on there, but I was like, I don't wanna say no because that's obviously not nice. And if he wants to go, he should go. But I was just trying so hard to hold back. And I was just like, really, you really, you really want to do that? You're really going to go to Megan Fox's house? Where, how has Megan Fox entered my brain? And this has no basis in reality. Like, you know how sometimes you can like draw connections be like, oh, that's why I was thinking about this weird thing. No clue how this happened. He was like, oh yeah, I'll be back in like an hour or something. And I was just like trying so hard to hold back from just being like, do not do this. And like I knew in the back of my head, I'm like, I'm gonna be so annoyed with him if he does this and it's getting late. So I was like, it's getting late. Like you can go for 15 minutes. You should be back in 15 minutes. And he was like, <laughs> so weird. And he went. He went and then he came back in 15 minutes and I was just like, all right, I hope you had fun. I don't know where that came from, but it was too funny not to share. He thought it was hilarious. And obviously I just have to say, Megan Fox, I'm looking out for you. Whoa, what did I just do? <laughs> we got the worst sleep last night. We stayed up late and then Luna had to go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, which never happens. And I had such a hard time getting back to sleep. Like this morning, I was like, I feel like I didn't sleep a wing. So I'm tired and I had a lot of weird dreams, but whatever. You wanna see Lolly and Pop today? <gasps> Lolly and Pop? All right, we've got an easy leftover lunch day. We're having chicken and rice and peppers and guacamole and all kinds of stuff. I mean, if her hair just goes crazy during her nap, but I mean, I can just fix it when you get there. Oh, I can't get over this ponytail. You look like such a big girl. <gasps> Who's a big girl? She's a sleepy girl. Just ready to go to bed with her ponytails. I gotta go, guys. <laughs> so I just got over to my parents' house. We've got some decor and prep work to do today to get ready for tomorrow. Lucy had just gone down for her nap when I left, so she's gotta get her really good nap, afternoon nap. I think Grant's gonna have his afternoon nap too. And then they're gonna come over and meet with us and help out and all that. And Lolly and Pop are gonna get to see their baby Lucy. They they love Lucy. I mean, of course they do. But uh, yeah, we've got a lot to do. So I wanted to get over here as soon as I could get busy. I still like, I don't know, I'm still like trying to let it be like a surprise tomorrow, but whatever. Let's do this. All right, so this is the stuff I'm bringing to the table. We've got a lot of supplies, lots of balloons. We're trying to make some clouds, some rain as like a backdrop. And then look at this. We have to do a big baby bath time. <laughs> 
because one of our games is gonna be like my water broke. I don't even remember what they call it, but babies are gonna be frozen in ice cubes for the punch. I actually found this on Amazon. Obviously you can get it all together yourself, but it came with all the pieces you need, which made it's it nice. super, super easy. Okay, my dad's working on the base for the background and I'm gonna get started on the balloons. Such a mess, but I'm slowly getting there. Here's what we have for my balloon masterpiece. I don't know if it's even fitting in the frame. I'm pretty much out of balloons, so I think this There's is as. Somebody. Oh, hello! Okay. The blue seat's here. Hello, Lucy. Are you happy? Yes, I am, in oh, fact. Mm -hmm. I am, in fact. Happy girl. All right, we're making a lot of progress here. We got a lot going on. Lucy girls with her pop. Yeah. Pretty much one of her favorite people on the planet. I'll give you an up close in a minute, but it's rain. Can you see? It's rain, obviously, right? All right, now we're adding the next layer, which are these raindrops. It's so cute. All the raindrops are up. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's rain. All right, the clouds are coming together. This is one I cut it in half. <laughs> this is our cake topper. And it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. So sweet. Good job. Y'all, it's literally. 8.30 and I am crashing. I'm so tired and I completely forgot to vlog at the end. And we had hamburgers at my parents' house and we did more decor and all that. And I like totally dropped off with vlogging. Like psh. we're mostly set up for tomorrow. Obviously I have to get like food together, the punch, stuff like that. And I'm so excited. It's gonna be so much fun and I'm gonna get a good night of sleep tonight. There are feathers absolutely everywhere right now. It's driving me nuts. Oh, also, side note, look at Miss Luna Bean's new accessory. Is it really bright? So cute, so ready for spring. I'm trying to get all this cleaned up because it's just madness. And it's all because I decided we needed to completely strip down the couch, wash everything, vacuum everything, and it was just a feathers explosion. I think I'm going with the white set 
No, I did not steam it. And now I need to decide on shoes. These are my like tried and true wear with everything white shoes. I've worn them for years with literally everything. And then these are new and they're kind of like a silvery blue color. I actually found these on Amazon. They are so cute and really surprisingly comfortable. And also they were really, really affordable. Okay, super fast OOTD. Obviously went with the white set. I've got my little cloud sleeves <laughs> i love this skirt i love this set i love the shoes we're gonna feed her and then like immediately put her down for her nap at my parents house uh oh oh no we're gonna go dad okay time's up we're here look at the gift mountain already growing i love my mom's dress it's so cute with the glove Kristen, looking cute always we are reverse White chocolate, white chocolate popcorn, chocolate. pretzels. My mom told me this is her most experimental cake yet. <laughs> I've made it before. It just I was just trying to make it pretty. It is pretty. <laughs> Are you kidding me? She was on the phone with me yesterday morning trying to use this cake scraper on the icing. And I was like, okay, I gotta get off the phone with you so you can do this. So apparently it was way harder than it looks on the internet. I think it turned out great. Practice. And you did this part? Mm. I love it. <laughs> oh, ta da! Perfection. It's called pesto porta. Yum. Made with pesto, tomato pesto, basil, and my mom's homemade pesto. Yum. All right, my mom's getting our frozen babies out. Oh yeah, now it's looking more turquoise. It, <laughs> I want her to set it up. You can always count on Grant yeah. to give you a look. Final touch. Aquamarine. Oh, cute. All right, everything is in its place. Looks so delicious especially our rainbow fruit. And we've got our baby ice game instructions right next to our perfectly blue punch. Is it really blue? <laughs> baby punch. Obviously, our 
family has very big news. We are expecting not one new baby, but two. Two twins. Two baby boys coming soon. We're so excited. Very excited. Yeah. Terrified, but excited. It's very, very, very exciting. Yay. Lucy's about to double her cousins in one day. Yeah. And we're about to try out a triple stroller right now. <laughs> Are you gonna have new brothers? Oh. Is it gonna be Sam times three? <laughs> oh, oh, where's your dino? Here's your pretzel. <gasps> there we go, that's what we were looking for. Yeah. yeah. Do you see a Lucy girl? Yeah. <laughs> Lucy is so wiped out, so ready for her bedtime routine. We gotta get this bottle going and we gotta go to bed. I think she had fun at the party. And obviously now the big news is out. Mary is having twin boys. We are so excited. We are gonna have so many grandkids and our family and Lucy is gonna be so excited to have more cousins. She loves Sam so much. Sam is so much fun, loves dinosaurs, and it's just really, really, really exciting. It's gonna be a very exciting year for our family. And we have got to get this girl to bed because she is so sleepy. And we have a really, really big week coming up. Uh, tomorrow morning, we're starting a 48-hour EEG. We're doing it here at home. It's been a really long time since we've done a multi-day EEG, and we've only ever done any EEGs like in a hospital. So we've never done it at home. I'm grateful that we can do it at home, and we do have some concerns, and so it'll be good to get this information, even though it's gonna be a lot to do this EEG for a couple of days. Um, and then after that, the next week and then the next week, so like the two weeks after, um, we're gonna do a therapy intensive and it's a different kind of therapy. It's DMI then, and we don't do DMI all the time. We do PT, OT, and speech, um, but we're gonna do two sessions every day for two weeks of DMI and we're really excited about that, but it's gonna be intense, isn't it? It's gonna be pretty intense. It's gonna be a lot of work for Lucy. It's gonna be really busy for us. Um, I'm looking forward to it, but at the same time, it's like, you know, um, it's it's a good opportunity and I just wanna give her every opportunity, you know? So we got off the wait list for that. That was something that we kind of like signed up for last year and we were just waiting and seeing and we finally got off the wait list and we get to be a part of it. So we've got high hopes. We've got a lot coming up. We're gonna be so busy for the next few weeks and we are so excited for these babies. It is just so awesome. You're gonna have so many cousins really quick. What do you have to say about that? No comment. <laughs> and one more quick thank you to Brooklinen for sponsoring this video. I know, right? <laughs> Big thank you. Grant. I feel like Grant hasn't been in this vlog at all somehow. <laughs> Come here. I think you gotta help me in the vlog. Okay. I feel like he hasn't been in the vlog this whole time. I'm here. Anything to say? Uh, uh oh, what does Looney have uh -oh. to say? Everybody's here, filming at four. <laughs> I don't know. We had a great, we had a great weekend, a lot of fun stuff. Yeah, we did. Lucy had a great weekend. See, Dad? Oh, <gasps> that's Lucy back. All right. Thanks. I love you. Bye. Oh, subscribe. All that, you know. <laughs>